Uh oh. We're looking at Tomater. We got problems. Yeah. This is all stuff that's going to have to be addressed. These fenders are not in bad shape on this truck. They've been fixed before. And that's in a that's in a weld seam right there. This right here is in a weld seam. But let's see. We got a problem. There is a tab. If I can get you to where you can see it, right here. Granted, like I said, these have been remade on the bottom before I've did this. Well, yeah. See the problem? We're going to weld that back. We weld that back, and all is good. But at least for now, you know, this truck's got some rust in it. Yeah, it needs rockers put in it pretty bad. You know, it's not. It's not grand, but if you look. This old truck, you know, your front cab mounts got just a little rust starting in them I've got to address. As far as the floor pans and inner wheelhouses and everything, you know, it's it's solid. It's a good old truck. But we're going to try to weld this back today. As far as showing you while I'm doing it, there is nowhere in the world to put the camera. I'll put the camera on me doing it and let you watch me do it, but you're not going to be able to actually see me weld that. There's no way. I ain't even hardly going to be able to see me weld it, so... Unless I took a tire off and everything else, and we're not going into that because I'm going to put two new fenders on this truck. This is just a, going to be a quickie repair job. See, you know, got a mud line right there. Literally, I mudded the fender to the rocker. Did it on purpose just for extra strength when I did this. This was a quickie. It's what Pisser would call a blitz, is what I did on this truck. Those rockers are eat clear up. At least this one on this side is. It's packed full of mud. It's full of uh, full of dirt glass is what it's full of. And uh, it's held up pretty good for, let's see, 14 years. It's done well. I done it right to last. I just didn't do it right. So don't give me a hard time there. But back with you whenever I'm actually going to weld this. Well, hello everybody. Got my little. Uh, wire welder out, little flux cord, a little 110. Works good for stuff like this so it works real well for it. So don't get a whole lot of heat. Got it clamped up there on the on that brace. And um, considering where it's at, I can't get a helmet in there to wear a helmet, but it's also one of those things, it's so simple that I can get my stinger set up and I can weld it and I'm not even going to be in view of looking at it period so it's not one of those things where I have to worry about eye protection because I can't see what I'm doing anyway I gotta kinda of weld by feel so stay put and watch just gotta kinda of literally weld it by feel more than anything get my arc started well, I believe we've about got it. Stronger than it was new from Chevrolet. Another piece back in here that is part of this brace system that is loose. We're going to try to put a tack on it if it's at all possible. It's kind of, uh, kind of rotten because all this original brace is trash. It's all there is to it. But I've got a good set of fenders. It's got it all on it, so Let's see if we can do anything with it. It's actually the back brace, the back apron brace and fender. Cut it on the weld to something that's going to uh, cause a problem later. So I'm looking to see if I can do anything to weld it to. But actually, something in our bolts just to support it. Looks like I might can pack it right there. It's not going to do a whole lot, but. You know, it's not really a problem. I also see on the bottom side of this mound another little uh, bit that I can that I can weld to to 
give it a little more strength. I get my ground clamp in here with ground. Get rid of my excess wire the wrong way. Water is bent, don't like it. Get it straight. There we go. probably could use weld helmet but I'm not looking at the weld so we're not gonna worry about it. pieces of wire are also flat and tired in heartbeat, so try to keep up with them. You knock them off on the plant. Kind of a bad habit. I've flattened some tires before. Not very smart. Keep up with the pieces. I think it's all of them. Nope, this one. That ought to be all of them there. Nope, there's none. How many times did I do that? Y'all can't tell me if I got them all. Did I get them all? Probably not. Oh well. Why I can't get ground here. But granted, this is all rusty metal, and rusty metal does not weld well. It's probably got an undercoat or something on it. Whoa, we got arc. Hey, we're doing good now. What we want is arc. Said, don't do as me. Wear a helmet. Wear a helmet. At least wear safety glasses when you mess with this thing. Like I said, I can't see the arc, so if I could see the arc, it'd be one thing, but I can't, so. Yeah, we're looking good now. Good and strong again. That's what we wanted. We wanted some structure and we got it. Bender's reattached to the truck. It's not going anywhere. You know, is it the right way of fixing it? Is that the right way of fixing it? No. Is it the wrong way of fixing it? No, not really. It's um it's one of those deals. It's where yeah, it's the wrong way of doing it, but the right way and the wrong way depends upon the situation. And in this situation, with what I got to deal with, um, that's really the right way of fixing it for now. The correct way to fix it is to replace it, you know, but that stuff's expensive and very hard to find. And I don't even think they even sell that inner apron aftermarket, I don't think. I may be wrong on that, but I don't think they sell it, and you know, it kind of comes down to this. Um, you got to make it yourself, and that's pretty much what I've done before, which works fine. 
I mean, it really does. It works out to be fine. And, you know, if it's your vehicle, you can fix it however in the heck you want to. As long as the fenders ain't flopping, as long as it's on there, everything's good. You know, that fender's solid. It's got a few little rust issues in it, but the fender itself is solid, which is good. You know, like I said, I patch paneled the bottom of it. And if you notice down there at the very bottom of that fender, it doesn't have the, um, I'm leaning on the boat here, sorry. It's moving around, so. But if you notice at the very bottom of the fender, it doesn't have the body line that comes along the rocker panel. Um, you'd have never noticed that unless I pointed it out. That's not the only little body line in this truck that's been deleted either. No, wait a minute, sorry, wrong truck. That was the old red one I had. Uh, the hot, there was a, there's a extra little lip that goes around the bottom of the bed. It was all the way around the truck. It's the same as that, but it goes down the bed. It was completely deleted because I had to rebuild all that. I had to weld metal in it and uh, use Duraglass just to hmm, put it back together. It's so badly rusted, but nobody ever noticed it got missing. And neither did I, to be honest with you. It wasn't no big deal. It was more trouble to put it back and it was worth as, um, you can pretty well modify body lines and stuff however you want to just make sure that you do it across the board like down the whole side of the vehicle I mean like an upper body line I wouldn't on that truck I wouldn't suggest you try to fill that in with Bondo but I guess you could make an interesting looking truck if you did and, you know I guess you could fill it in with Duraglass but not only would it be expensive but it would be strange but you could build that body line up and make the whole side of that truck slick straight you can make a custom job. I mean, a lot of people have made some custom looking deals and, you know, but that don't mean we have to like them, does it, so. But be very careful with your MIG welder when you're welding on, um, on um, metal of a vehicle like that. Be very careful because you can blow through the metal real easy. You want to use your low power setting and your best bet is take an old fender or something, cut a hole in it and try to weld a patch in it before you ever try it on a car. Because I was welding on high under there just because of the rust, you know, there's rust on the metal and I couldn't get a grinder in there to clean it up or nothing. You know, I was welding rusty metal. And there's two things about rusty metal. It takes a lot of heat to weld it and it just, it doesn't do a good weld, so. You know, you can blow through. But I was in a situation where if I did, I'd just take me another piece of metal, make me another strap and try again. The way that that's set up under there, so. It's all cool, you know. But my fender's reattached and that was my main priority because it was getting annoying. Not only was it bad on the fender, it flopping like that, but it was getting annoying listening to it. You go down the road and hear it go, thunk, 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 thunk. It's like a knocking noise, like it's knocking, wanting to get in. I like never figured out what it was until I shut that door one day and heard the fender flop. I was like, oh crap, my fender's falling off. Well, tow major's fender's reattached. See y'all.